Hello student. So let us start our discussion. In previous tutorial, uh, we have discussed what is the or how we can create the connection between CPU and memory. Okay, and we have discussed uh, memory address map. Okay, so how uh, combinedly uh, address map will be created for uh, RAM and ROM chip. Now here, in this tutorial, we will discuss associative memory. Okay, we will not focus much on auxiliary memory. Uh, in case of auxiliary memory, if we discuss about uh, hard drive, okay, then uh, hard drive will have platter, and in platter it will have reading head and writing head. So uh, platter uh, will be divided into uh, or tape will be divided into sectors and uh, track, and track will be divided into sector, and sector will be divided into block, and then. A uh, block will be the base. Uh, you can say memory unit of CPU. So whenever CPU want to store data permanently, then it will be stored into the block. Okay. So uh, and uh, whenever we want to read certain data, then uh, head will be moved on the uh, particular uh, track, then uh, sector, and then block. Okay. So then it will start reading the data, and then it will be given to the CPU uh, by DMA operation. So. Uh, that's the uh, only thing that which which we can discuss in uh, auxiliary memory why we are not covering more because nowadays these uh, auxiliary memories are getting replaced by semiconductor memory okay so the working of that uh, memory uh, auxiliary memory is uh, changing okay so nowadays uh, you can say the uh, access time uh, is very very less compared to the hard drive for example solid state drive so uh, it is having very high bandwidth so that uh, due to that reason we are not focusing much on uh, auxiliary memory so let us start our discussion with the associative memory so most of time what will happen that whenever you will uh, access try to access any content of memory we will try to uh, retrieve the uh, content using address okay so in normal scenario it will be fine okay but uh, many times what will happen let's say cpu wants to search something uh, into the memory okay then uh, what can be the solution so cpu has to search linearly or sequentially so uh, one by one location will be searched and then uh, appropriate uh, data will be retrieved now uh, what is associative memory okay now instead of address if uh, uh, data can be searched using the content of memory okay then uh, we can say that this kind of memory is known as associative memory okay where uh, data will be searched based on the value okay or binary pattern we can say uh, normally this kind of uh, um, memory will be used by compiler in uh, address symbol table address symbol table so uh, this address symbol table will uh, give the name of the variable and then it will be replaced by uh, uh, you can say um, address of that variable so compiler will use uh, uh, this kind of memory in address symbol table now so what is content addressable memory okay so it is a memory which is having a capability uh, to search the data based on the content okay so search will be based on content okay so using content uh, uh, search will be done okay rather than address so uh, uh, this kind of memory are comparatively uh, costly compared to the RAM okay why because uh, it will have a uh, storage capacity as well as a logic to uh, uh, to to detect the search okay so uh, this this is the content addressable memory now let us try to discuss that uh, how this uh, content addressable memory will work now as you can see in the figure content addressable memory is having various component okay the first compo component is argument register next component is key register next component is associative memory and uh, fourth component is match register okay so there are total fourth compo four component fourth is match register 
uh, third is uh, content associative memory second is the key register and first is the argument register now let us try to discuss the individual component that uh, uh, what this individual component will do so argument uh, register will specify the pattern which is to be searched okay so let's say we want to search a pattern uh, here we will give a uh, string as an input uh, for example hi hello okay so we want to search this pattern now out of this we are more uh, uh, curious uh, or we, we are more interested in the pattern okay uh, where uh, first letter is capital uh, H then uh, third letter is space uh, fourth letter is again capital H and uh, uh, let's say uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 letter and seventh letter is L okay so how we will specify the um, condition that out of this string uh, we are interested in the pattern where uh, uh, first is H capital S second is uh, can be anything uh, <coughs> excuse me next is uh, capital H again next two character uh, can be any then uh, next is L and uh, then uh, oh, any character okay so this criteria can be specified using key register okay so in key registers what we will do we will simply specify the index let's say 0 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so we are concerned uh, with this index and with this character okay so if both are matching then uh, uh, the content which we are looking for it is available into that memory now after uh, finding the content okay so for first of all let me uh, tell you that this will be stored into uh, argument register okay and this will be stored into let's say key register now uh, then using this uh, there will be uh, data search into the associative memory okay so one by one on each location uh, the content will be stored uh, search okay and uh, for whatever position let's say there are uh, uh, 10 words 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 words okay so in that case uh, let's say we are going linearly and uh, we uh, we will uh, we found that uh, word number 1 then word number 5, word number 7, word number 8 and uh, word number 10. It is having uh, this pattern. Okay. Capital H, then uh, space, then again capital H, then L. Okay. On this position. So, how uh, that result of search operation will be stored. So, for that there will be a register. Okay. Which, we, which will specify the uh, our location where this pattern is occurring so there will be 10 bit so let me write down those uh, let's say bit 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay now uh, if we look at this uh, location okay then on first location it is available so here on first location we will put one next location 0 next location 0 next location 0 on location number 5 it is found location number 6 it is 0 location number 7 and 8 it is found location number 9 0 and location number 10 it is found okay so after performing the search operation uh, the status will be stored into the match register okay and whenever cpu want to uh, access this content okay cpu will not search into the memory cpu will directly retrieve the uh, match register and from match register it will uh, get the exit address okay and uh, then uh, let's say we want to replace this uh, uh, word okay uh, all h with w w w okay so uh, here also w so what will happen uh, the new input will be given here and write see write command will be given and uh, based on match register one by one uh, uh, seek address will be selected so the new content will be stored into the memory 
similarly if i want to retrieve this uh, uh, this pattern from the memory okay or we i want to retrieve all the uh, word where this pattern is occurring from the memory okay then uh, simply read input will be given and uh, using match register one by one location will be activated so content will be available in form of output okay so uh, now if we look at this then uh, uh, how, let, let's try to understand that uh, how this associative memory will work okay so we will have uh, first of all two element argument and key okay so uh, let's uh, write down uh, something okay before starting that uh, let me tell you that uh, size of argument will be the size of word uh, size of argument register size of key register and size of uh, word okay it will be same and uh, size of match register will be uh, similar to the total number of memory location into the memory now normally uh, this can be stored in a memory location okay so uh, let's say we are, if you are having 2 gb of uh, uh, you can say memory okay 2, 2 gb word okay then we cannot create that much large uh, uh, register okay so at that time that a bitmap will be stored means in the memory on continuous location in registers this location will be divided into range and then on each range that value will be stored okay so uh, this is how uh, it will work now let us start uh, uh, let us start to understand that uh, how this will work let's say uh, we are having an argument one one zero zero okay now out of this argument uh, cpu wants to search all the word where first element is one means our first bit is one and uh, uh, third bit is one okay so if we start indexing with one two three and four okay so cpu is concerned about these two first uh, bit should be one and third bit should be zero so then a key will be specified accordingly so key will be one zero one zero okay so this will be simply masking operation so let me write down the value uh, so you can have idea that uh, how it will work so here what is value of argument argument is one one zero zero and what is key one zero one zero okay so then after filtering this it will be match with the each word okay so let's say that uh, uh, this is the word and uh, on this word that condition means this pattern is uh, uh, let me write down some binary content for better idea let's say uh, one triple zero okay then uh, zero triple one okay and uh, one zero zero one now using key and argument this will be match so here what is the first character one okay then what is the next character we are concerned about third character and what is the argument value zero so one and zero so in this word both the beat which we are looking for one and third means one and zero okay means one and third in key and one and zero in argument so it is matching so at that time we will put the value of uh, match register beat number one to one okay next here uh, what should be the value one for one it is one okay here it is zero so it is not matching so here we will put zero third word we will consider first bit and forecast bit uh, for first bit what is the value one here also it is one then we will ignore the next bit why because here in key register next bit is zero and bit number three is one so we are going to consider bit number three and what is the value of bit number three in argument register zero so zero okay so it is matching so one and zero both are matching so here the value of uh, third bit in match register will be one now uh, after completion of uh, this search uh, cpu will simply search the um, uh, match register
okay and uh, so you will uh, found that on member uh, word word number 1 and word number n both are having both are having this pattern okay so uh, this is how content associative memory will work so this is how uh, content addressable memory will work okay so we will not focus uh, in much detail of how uh, read operation will be done and how write operation will be done okay here uh, for finding uh, a particular word or for a condition for uh, this one okay it can be like a end gate of all the input but in that that case uh, this will be selected and uh, this uh, wherever which bit uh, which bit we are ignoring okay so that will be converted uh, into uh, means it will be inverted and uh, then uh, it will be ended with that word so uh, that is how uh, it will be implemented but, but we will not focus much on, much more on implementation of this now uh, we are uh, uh, finishing uh, this discussion of uh, content addressable memory here and in next tutorial we will discuss what is cache memory thank you